And now let's uh, show you what you need for this recipe. You're going to need some cheese. You're going to need some potato chips, a couple dozen eggs. Like I said, a few pounds of bacon, some onion. We have some maple syrup. All right, let's put this together. Now, like I said, we pre-cook the bacon. Not crispy. You want it soft, just like that, and pliable. It's about cooked three quarters of the way through, maybe a little bit more. And what you do is you take a few strips and you roll them up, just like that. Now, if you've never had bacon and egg pan pie before, you definitely got to check it out. It's a great breakfast, or it's a great full meal anytime you want. Oh, oh, oh. Protein overload, bacon and eggs. It's good. All right, let's show you again how you do it. Just take your bacon and roll it. Maybe a few strips. You can get creative and figure out how to do it, right? Now, of course, this is pork belly bacon, and uh, you've got to use pork belly bacon. All right? You know about that, right? Again, we just start the roll, add another piece, and we're going to place them in a black iron pan. This is about a 12 inch black iron pan. Oh, man. Looks like a bed of roses, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Now, we have in here approximately two and a half pounds of bacon, more or less, all right? And this is what it looks like when you get it in the pan. Now, here we're adding a little uh, veggie oil for the Vegematics, and this is, uh, we're doing this so the eggs will not stick to this black iron pan. Now, this recipe calls for some onion, like I said, so we're gonna chop it up. <laughs> Maybe a good size onion. And now we're gonna break the eggs into the pan. You wanna go sunny side up, right? Wow. And you're gonna need a lot of eggs. Like I said, you're gonna need a dozen and a half eggs, maybe two dozen. Depends how big your eggs are, right? And we got them sunny side up. Oh man, that looks good. Now, next step, we're gonna add a diced onion right to the top. Nice layer. And then we'll crack some black peppercorns. Looks good enough to eat already. <laughs> and then we're going to place them on the grill opposite the hot coals. We're indirect heating. This gives us a slow heat. And we're running a temperature of about 275 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And here we're about halfway through. We're just going to spin the pan for some even cooking. You may not have to do that on your grill, right? Oh, man, look at that. Eggs are setting up nice. Now, while we're waiting for the eggs to cook, we've got some potato chips here. This is the start to this uh, bacon and egg pan pie, right? And we want to crush the chip. Let's use a good chip. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. It's going to be good. But you can crush them any way you want. Now here we've got some shredded cheese and we're going to add it to the chips. And use, uh, use your favorite shredded cheese. Give it a good mix. And the eggs are just about done. They're still runny. And here we're going to add our cheese and chip blend. And coat it fairly thick. This is going to add a bit of crispiness to this bacon and egg pan pie. And through the miracle of time, this bacon and egg pan pie is done. We're going to put it off the grill and uh, let it cool down. Look at that. I say it's time to eat.
Now you can serve these up any way you want, right? Just slice it. You could probably serve eight people with this. But uh, maybe four is just enough. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, Lord have mercy. You gotta be kidding me. Like I said, this is a grand breakfast. All the protein you need to get you through a long, hard day, right? Oh, man. Take a look at that. Nice crisp layer. Bacon is cooked perfect. And set it up with some uh, maple syrup if you want for your uh, favorite condiment for your eggs and of course we do apologize for eating in front of you like this but uh, we call this pitmaster privilege you're just gonna have to make your own bacon and egg pan pan So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.